Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best build for all 51 brawlers currently inside of Brawl Stars. So there's been a few new brawlers since the last time I did this. So I'm just going to quickly be running through what I believe is going to be the best build. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're using a credit code in the shop. Mine will be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so starting off with the starter brawler, they're going all the way up to chromatic as we always do with these type of lists. So starting off with Shelly. So the best combo for me by far has to be the Shelly shock star power and the clay pigeons gadget so since clay pigeons got reworked it's actually really good and especially if you super someone you get them slowed and use the clay pigeons you're going to be melting people at max range so that's going to be by far the better build okay so next up we have nita again it's fairly simple for this build so it's going to be the bear with me star power and the fox fur gadget the only mode i would actually recommend using the other star power in is heist everywhere else you want to be using this build by far the better build okay so next up we have colt so for colt as well fairly simple i feel like in every single build it's it's gonna be the silver bullet gadget and the magnum special star power so the extra range on colt is going to be really beneficial especially it, uh combining it with the gadget it's going to be wall breaking a lot more and it's just a lot more easier to hit shots consistently okay guys so next up we have bull so bull again i feel like in every single mode it's set for heist i'll be using a stomper and be a tough guy star power so that's going to be the best combination in heist i will always be using the t-bone injector and sometimes berserker kind of depends on what type of play style i want to play uh, but both star powers are really viable especially in different modes okay guys so next up we have jesse so the best combo by far is going to be the spark plug gadget and the energized star power the energized star power helps uh, jesse's turret stay alive for much longer without it jesse's turret is basically one of the easiest things to take down inside of a game energized helps to keep it alive and spark plug helps you uh, get multiple kills if you throw a Throw onto an enemy you slow them you can get multiple kills the only way the other gadget is better is maybe in game modes like heist and siege but the safe bet is always this build all right guys so now moving on to brox so i feel like brox in a really good place in terms of his star powers and gadgets both star powers and gadgets are usable i'll say the best build right now is probably incendiary with the rocket fuel gadget even though it received a big nerf i just feel like it's really really good at opening up the map but like most of the time i won't be using it on enemies now i'll just use it on walls and because brock can cycle supers really well it's going to open up the map even quicker but rocket laces can definitely be a decent gadget especially against aggro brawlers and then fourth rocket can be really good and especially you want to be using incendiary on gamers like siege and heist okay guys so next up we have a dynamite so for dynamite i feel like there's a clear uh winner in terms of the best build it's got to be the demolition star power and the satchel charge ga gadget so the gadget definitely is going to be satchel charge that's by far the better gadget some people like to use dino jump obviously it can make some really cool plays but for me demolition is going to be really strong especially because you can one shot so many different brawlers in the game and that's normally why you really use dynamite and competitive to one shot those squishy brawlers okay so next up we have bow so a fairly simple one for me you're going to be using the stun star power on bow for every single map except for snake priority that's the only one where vision is better and then in terms of gadgets as well i'll be always using a totem one especially on maps that have a lot of walls on you can place the totem get your minds pretty quick and so can your teammates and right now we're seeing a little bit of usage of bow on some maps and the totem's the only reason for this okay so next up we have tick i feel like this is a simple one as well in terms of competitive literally every single pro player will be using the last hurrah gadget and the well oiled star power so well oiled just lets you uh, heal up much quicker uh, you can obviously get usage out of the other star power but well oiled just going to be uh, more suitable especially in like tick versus tick interactions as well and then last hurrah even after the nerf a couple of months ago is still really good especially with the knockback feature and it still allows you to tank a lot of damage so next up we have eight bit again really strong build for him it's going to be the plugged in star power gives you that additional speed definitely what you're going to be needing with the 8 bit because of how slow he is already definitely that speed with the turret and then with the gadget as well i'll be using every single time and again every single pro player will be using cheat cartridge it can really help you stay alive in those clutch moments tp'ing back to safety to your turret so next up we have ems unfortunately she only has one gadget still which i'm hoping she'll get a second one pretty soon but in terms of star powers i feel like both are actually really strong but in most part i'll be using high just because it allows me to get more value out of my super but back armor still is a good star power as well but i feel like uh, the preference for me more so is for hype so next up we have Stu. so in terms of star powers gas Hill is going to be by far the better star power for me you can still get usage out of zero drag but in terms of competitive i still every single Stu near enough to use this star power so definitely still going to be the better one even after the nerf and then in terms of gadgets it can really come down to play style and the map so on really defensive maps you probably be wanting to use the speed gadget you can put that totem really far back and your mid and lane brawler can obviously get that additional speed can be really good but breakthrough can be really strong on certain maps and you can get uh it can help you get the kill in that gunfight okay so next up we have el primo so el primo is a really balanced brawler because you can use both star powers and both
both gadgets with him. So again, it was kind of dependent on the comp in competitive when Primo's brought out. Most time he's actually brought out with like a B or another wall break. So Asteroid Belt can be really good in that sense. Like you normally use that for the wall break and also just to counter other tanks. Uh, both stop powers are really good. Depends on what game mode and what composition you really want to face off against. Obviously, there's, uh, the fire stop power can help you finish off those kills. And then speed can help you uh, get your super back much quicker. And then again, for both gadgets can be both good depending on what match you'll be having. Right, guys. So next up, we have Barley's. Fill up Barley's in a good place in terms of his star powers and gadgets because both are definitely usable and pretty good in terms of the competitive meta and what most pros use. It'll be probably around like 90 to 95 percent uh, that pros were using the extra nauseous star power and the healing gadget. So especially in game modes like Siege, where the healing gadget is going to help you and your two teammates out, and especially in winning their battles, that heal can be come in so clutch. So definitely a really good combo to use. Uh, but both star powers, as I say, definitely can be usable. And then the sticky soap gadget can be really good, especially if you're anticipating tanks. So next up, we have Poco. So in terms of gadgets, the best one by far is going to be Tuning Fork, giving you and your teammates that passive healing. Definitely a really strong gadget to have. And then in terms of star powers, honestly, Screeching Solo is actually pretty decent. I see a lot of teams actually run Screeching Solo. I still say that probably like 75% of the time I'll be using the Capo just because I'll be healing me and my tanks. But especially if you've got like a poker, uh, a poker, a max in your combination and you've been really aggressively, Screeching Solo can actually be a really good stop power. So next up, we have Rosa. So I feel like there's a clear best build for Rosa. It'll be the plant life star power, giving you about additional 200 healing per second. And then unfriendly bushes as well, getting that slow, especially when people are in bushes. It can really help uh, you get the kills with roses so you can actually use the other gadget on some maps where you can connect the bush as well the maps i can think of that are really strong for this are like canal grande and also hard rock mine you actually see that gadget being used a few times in competitive but other than that on friendly bushes it's definitely going to be the better gadget so next up we have rico a clear best build for rico it's going to be his new gadget bouncy castle it's going to be really good at uh, keeping him alive by far the better gadget for me and then in terms of star power you can probably use rubber tree in a few situations but uh, super bouncy is going to be the better star power for me so next up we have daryl in terms of star powers the best star power by far is going to be steel hoops nothing has really changed about that but in terms of gadgets i feel like top barrel actually is going to be the better gadget now i see a, well whenever daryl's used i see pros definitely be using this one because it helps you slow down the opponents get closer to them and deal more damage recoil and rotator can be okay though especially if you're struggling to get that suit okay so next up we have penny there's a clear favorite choice in terms of best build for her so the best build is going to be the balls of fire star power it's going to really help for zoning and that little additional damage it's going to be really strong strong and then the next one is going to be the captain's compass gadget you don't want to be using the other gadget it basically destroys the penny turret and that's going to be like the hardest thing to get in the game with penny is that turret takes so long to get it so you don't want to be destroying that so this is going to be by far the best build okay so next up we have Cole. so in terms of gadgets a clear favorite in this one flying hook going to be by far the better gadget especially in game modes like siege where carl is played the most and then in terms of star power both can be pretty viable i would say uh, that power throw is going to be the better star power for me and i'll say near enough every single pro you can obviously get some value out protective pirouette and can be also uh well can be really strong uh but there's just a lot of uh, brawlers in the game right now that can cancel your super so most of value isn't really going to be coming from that super okay guys so next up we have jackie so jackie just recently received a nerf and a buff to her star power with a hardy hard hat one but i still feel like uh even with the buff that the counter crusher is going to be the better star power the main reason for this is because of a super you're going to be bringing in people closer to you and uh, obviously with the damage nerf as well that additional damage is going to really help jackie so for me that's going to be the best build for her all right guys so next up we have a piper in terms of gadgets a clear favorite here homemade recipe going to be by far the better gadget for her in terms of star powers it can come down to personal preference uh, for this one or just the map really but for the most part i would still prefer snappy sniping myself even on the bushier maps but i do see a lot of pipers be uh, running ambush especially on maps like hard rock mine or in gem grabber in general because that extra damage can really help kill the enemy gem carrier and help pinch on the lens okay so next up for pam a really simple one it's going to be the scrap sucker gadget every single time with pam it's a super strong gadget especially since its introduction it takes away the enemy's ammo and it also gives you some ammo back so you want to be using that every single time and then mama squeeze as well especially with that 800 damage a lot of the time you can just throw that turret onto people and get the kill all right guys so now going on to frank the best star power by far is going to be the sponge star power it's going to give you additional hp make it even harder for enemy to take you down especially if you've got a healer behind you and then also in terms of gadgets active noise cancellation it's going to be by far the better one it's going to stop you from getting your super cancelled okay so next up we have bb so bb only has one gadget one of the better gadgets in the game really do love this one in terms of star power i feel like baton stance is going to be the better star power 
every single time it's set for uh, Siege, where you want to be using the extra speed to collect the first bolt. Other than that, uh, Baton Stand is going to be better everywhere else. Okay, guys, so next up, we have B. In terms of gadgets, it's going to be a clear favorite here. Honey Molasses is going to be by far the better gadget ever since Rattlehive got nerfed. Uh, probably like nearly a year ago now it's basically useless always want to be using this gadget and then in terms of star powers as well i think the insta below is going to be the better one because if you miss that 3k shot you get another chance to hit another one okay guys so next up we have a nanny so with a nanny both gadgets are actually really good it obviously just depends on what map you're really playing against if you're on one of those longer range maps or looking to counter the longer range brawlers then return to send is going to be by far the better gadget a really op gadget for nanny especially on maps like shooting star but if you're going to be playing game modes like brawl or game modes like like heist probably the tp gadget is going to be better because most of the time you want to be using your peeps to just tp up and get some pressure and then in terms of star powers i'll really always use the auto focus maybe on a heist i might switch to uh the shield shield one because uh it's harder for obviously the enemies to take you down whilst you tp in but other than that i'll be always be using that auto focus star power okay so next up we have ego so in terms of star powers by far the better star power for ego is going to be fisticle so it allows you to heal up a lot and also it allows you to change your supers a lot easier so in terms of star powers for the most part i'll be using let's fly i think ego's new gadget is actually really underrated i see a lot of pro players use this gadget in game modes like heist or in game modes like siege uh, where you can easily just hide behind cover for that like 30 seconds you might be at a disadvantage for that time but once you get that one super you can easily chain and that shield just basically makes you unkillable so uh, both gadgets are good probably prefer the let's fly and fisticuffs uh combo okay so next up we have griff so i feel like griff is a really easy one keep the change star power is going to be by far the better star power it allows you to get your shots off much quicker and the other star power you don't really get any value out of it and then griff only has one gadget allows you to break open the map much easier all right guys so now moving on to mortis so mortis only has one clear favorite in terms of star power it's definitely going to be creepy harvest so like two months ago or so you would have been said to me that you're absolutely crazy for saying creepy harvest is by far the better star power and it really is it helps you get that extra healing and of course you still have your longer dash so in terms of gadgets as always mortis it always comes down to personal preference i feel like the only game mode where you'll definitely be wanting to use i don't even know what it's actually called like the angry one where you get more dashes uh you want to be using that in siege just because it allows you to get like the first bolt and whatever but it really does come down to personal preference all right guys so now moving on to tara really easy choice in terms of gadget support from beyond is always going to be the better gadget helps you push up uh, your lane and waste a lot of ammo the only one you want to be using uh, the vision stop power on maybe like really grassy maps and especially snake prairie that's probably the only way you want to be using the other gadgets so in terms of star powers again it comes down to personal preference so really balanced with tara i personally choose the healing pet or the healing shade a lot more just because you can get a lot more value out of it but definitely the other one is just as good okay guys so next up we have a jeans so in terms of star powers easy one it's going to be magic puffs always going to be the better star power for him and in terms of gadget honestly i've seen a lot of people using the vengeful spirits uh gadget now especially on the more longer range maps maybe if you're anticipating uh tanks still that land blow it's going to be better but honestly vengeful spirits can be really good especially if you're looking to finish off a kill at max range it can be really helpful especially on multiple targets as well so kind of strange to say that uh, that gadget is actually decent on june so next up we have max so the supercharged star power is going to be the better star power for max it allows you to get your supers a lot easier and especially that's the main reason why i use max is to combine well with your teammates so you want to be getting as many supers as possible and again gadgets i think there's a clear uh, favor in terms of the best gadgets it's always going to be phase shift it allows you to tank so many shots make so many epic plays okay so next up we have mr p so nothing really changed much about his star powers you're going to be using handle with care on the more longer range ones and uh, the maps will have a lot of walls you want to be using the revolving door just because those porters are going to be spawning every single second it's going to be really annoying for the enemy team to deal with so in terms of gadgets i feel like there's one clear favorite in terms of gadgets it's going to be i think it's a lot of service better one i don't 100 know the name of the gadget you're gonna to have to bear with me uh, on that one uh, but the gadget app makes it so whenever like your porters are one shot uh, you can activate your gadget it gives them more hp and more damage so that's going to be the better combo for mr p okay guys so next up we have sprout so i feel like both star powers and gadgets definitely really balanced and depends on the map and the mode so in terms of star powers you want to be using the photosynthesis star power the shield uh, star power uh, whenever well basically on every single map except for the longer range maps you want to be using the overgrowth star power on maps like backyard ball bot drop just allows you to get those extra shots in especially at max range it's gonna be really helpful so in terms of gadgets you want to be using the garden mulcher gadget basically everywhere it's set for maybe on a few maps in gem grab uh, thinking of maps like crystal arcade where you can keep cycling your wall and keep blocking out the enemies and especially in siege you want to be using that transplant gadget okay so next up we have a byron so both star powers are going to be really good for him but in terms of like competitive and what most people use it's going to be malaise so malaise is going to be especially good when 
you're facing off against enemy healers as well and other barons uh, what you can do you can basically just splash uh, the person that the healer is healing and they're just gonna get melted basically they're gonna get that 75 percent healing reduction gonna be really op injection can still be really good especially if you're facing off against spawners or looking to heal you and deal damage to the enemies can be really good value and obviously baron only has one gadget and it's really strong okay guys so finally moving on to the final mythic we have squeak so squeak only has one gadget can be good on those longer range maps and moving on to star powers both are actually pretty decent i find a lot more value with a super sticky star power mainly because you can cycle that super really well and for the most part you're going to be able to slow down like really aggressive brawlers as well with that super but definitely you can use both star powers okay guys so finally moving on to the legendary brawlers starting off with spike so spike his star powers can be map dependent for the most part i'll still be using curveball just because it's really easy to land consistent shots with but especially on those maps with a bunch of walls on you're going to get a lot of value out of fertilize so that's going to be the star powers to use in terms of gadgets i feel like his plant life i think it's called plant life his new gadget anyway it's going to be stronger on every single game mode except for high sway probably want to, want to be using the older spike gadget because especially if you can get onto that safe or you're looking to counter tanks that gadget can deal insane amount of damage okay so now moving on to crow i don't think there's any doubt of which the better the gadget is going to be it's going to be his slowing toxin gadget slowing the enemies for five seconds there's just no gadget that's going to beat that for him it's the main reason why he's even in the meta but in terms of star powers both can definitely have its usage i would say that every single pro does use the extra toxic star power just because it, uh, obviously if you tag multiple enemies they're going to be doing less damage to you but you can definitely still get some value out of carrying crow okay so next up we have leon so no doubt in my mind which the better gadget is it's going to be lollipop drop i think it's the only reason really why he's actually like top five in the meta right now because of that gadget it can last so long especially if you put it in the middle of the map giving it to more than one person invisibility is just so so strong and then moving on to star power so invisible heal i'll say it's used probably 99 percent of the time the only re the only way you want to be using the other star power is if you're on like a really long range map so i can think of maps uh, even like shooting star like backyard ball where you might want to surprise the enemy with the smoke trails okay so next up we have sandy so there's only one clear build for sandy really it's going to be the root sand star power and it's going to be the sweet dreams gadget sweet dreams gadget probably the best gadget inside of a game right now so so strong getting that stun onto uh, one or multiple people especially in gamers like brubble where you can literally get a free goal out of that gadget absolutely insane and then in terms of star powers root sand is going to be a star power that every single pro uses as well it just enables you to scout the grass really easily keeps the enemy low as well of course you can get some value out of the other star power but for me it's really situational and definitely root sounds is going to benefit you in the long run okay guys so next up we have amber really easy choice in terms of build surely has one gadget probably will be the strongest gadget i don't really imagine another gadget being stronger than this one can be really good to catch enemies off guard and then in terms of star power it's always going to be wild flames it enables you to cycle your supers a lot easier all right guys i'm moving on to the final legendary brawler the hardest one to decide on which gadget is and star power is going to be better yeah even even with the new star power anyway being released with meg in the future i feel like this one's just going to be much stronger the shield lasting for 30 seconds is absolutely insane uh, but yeah surely has one star power and gadget okay so now finally moving on to the chromatic brawlers starting off with a gale so with gale he actually has two decent star powers you're going to be using the slow star power when you're on the more longer range maps uh, like for example like backyard ball more longer range you can help uh, pinch with your teammates and then you want to be using the stun star power when you're on a map with a lot of walls on and where he's actually meta on some maps like split uh, where you're gonna consistently face off against tanks and you just know you're gonna push people into the wall you're gonna be using a stun one so in terms of gadgets as well it can be really map dependent so uh, the tornado can be just good in general on most maps and against most brawlers especially like aggro brawlers you can use it but especially on maps like split you want to be using that launch pad okay guys so next up we have sir no explanation really needed as to why this build is the best so of course you're going to be using the only gadget he has the tp one and then servers cold it allows you to keep that second level even when you die so that's going to be by far the better build for search okay guys so next up we have collect collect only has one gadget can be really good especially against those tanky brawlers using it as a first play moving on to star powers star powers uh, the shield star power is going to be better on gamers like heist and probably siege as well or if you're combining collect with like a healer because it can just make for amazing synergy but push it's going to be better everywhere else and especially if you're looking to counter those tanks okay guys so next up is lou it's super simple one in terms of his best build so super cool star powers going to be by far the best star power enabling you to obviously freeze your opponents a lot easier especially if they get uh, stuck in your super going to be really good to cycle those supers and then his new gadget as well in combination with super cool just makes for amazing synergy you can just keep cycling your supers over and over again okay guys so next up we have rough so again like a map and uh definitely comp 
dependent on his star powers. But in terms of gadgets, it's uh, Sandbag's definitely going to be the better gadget every single time. It's one of the best gadgets in the game, can really help against those single shot brawlers. But in terms of star powers, if you're playing a more defensive map, uh, if maps like Dry Season, maps like Backyard Bowl, where you're going to be pairing up with multiple brawlers to try and get that healing, uh, then the heal star power is going to be better. But then on other maps where you're looking to wall break and especially inside a brawl ball, you're going to be using the air superiority. Okay, guys, so next up we have Bella, another easy choice. So she only has one gadget. And then in terms of star powers, the other, the first star power is just absolutely useless in terms of belt. It's always going to be the shield star power, which is going to be the better option for her. All right, guys, so next up we have a buzz. So in terms of star powers, the eye shop star power is going to be the better star power by far on most maps just because you can just cycle that super so easily you can use the extra stun star power on uh, maybe maps that have a lot of walls on where you know you're going to get that super but i just feel like this star power is just much better just enables you to cycle much easier and then he only has one gadget which is actually really strong okay guys so moving on to the final brawler ash he only has one star power and a gadget so no real need to really go over this but both are really really strong okay guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one uh apologies for not getting the video out yesterday i did have a few problems and i couldn't get the video out but uh, obviously we got it out today that's why you probably see a change in clothing halfway through the video so obviously it's the next day now uh so yeah apologies for that one but yeah it's, that's going to be it for today's video let me know what you think of the builds in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time